Welcome to the Spirit and Soul Healing Podcast, where we speak about all things related to spirituality, soul level healing, intuitive guidance, frequencies, and much more. I'm Amy Sikarski, licensed vocational nurse, past life hypnotherapist, master intuitive energy healer, and a clairvoyant physical channel. Today's episode is brought to you in part by Spirit School Online, where we offer courses in energy therapy, free guided meditations, courses and information around learning to connect in with your spirit guides, and much more. You can find me at amysikarski.com and offerings at spiritschoolonline.com. Hi everyone and welcome to this special episode of the Spirit and Soul Healing Podcast. I'm Amy Sikarski and I'm here with Ashley and today we will be sharing with you an energy therapy session for Ashley and our hopes, our intentions is that you will also receive a healing, feel a message and also maybe you'll learn something so some wisdom can be integrated. I know I always learn something, and that was my inspiration for inviting guests onto the podcast because so many beautiful moments can occur where spirit comes through the veil and speaks to us and provides warmth and comfort and guidance. And also, they <laughs> so many times teach, like they really teach me things that I want to share with others. However, when there are private one-on-one -on -one sessions, I don't feel that that's really appropriate. So here we are in a session for Ashley. Thank you so much, Ashley. And she will be receiving healing and guidance. And again, it will be something that our intention and um, request <laughs> to spirit is that we all can receive healing and guidance from as well. So welcome, Ashley, to the podcast. I'm so happy that you volunteered. And I want to thank you so much before we even get started for opening up, <laughs> sharing with us whatever might be coming through today. And um, how are you feeling today? I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty good. I feel really blessed to be in your presence. I'm very grateful for this opportunity and I'm looking forward to it a lot. I feel pretty good. As oh. soon as you started talking, actually, I started feeling um, just a little tingly. All over. <laughs> oh my goodness i love this thank you for sharing with everyone yeah we for everybody we were kind of visiting for a little bit setting up our cameras and whatnot and then right as we did um hit record and invite you all on i also felt the energy shift and so how i like to work is i want to tune in for you and let you know who's here with you today. So we all have these beautiful teams and spirit from guides to angels. And also then I'll be looking at your energy field and sharing with you the insights that they have. And these will be experiences to help bring information through and wisdom. So questions that you might have had or little like messages to support you. Sometimes they give little heads ups like, oh, you might be going through this soon, so we're here to let you know. Um, but also, it's to look for any misalignments. Is there anything that we can help move or shift or release so that your energy field can be more enhanced with light and your system will strengthen and that will activate your clear gifts a little bit more and enhance your health? So... Um, we don't really know much about each other. I mean, I don't really know much about you or really what's going on in your life right now. So I'm so excited to just open to spirit and see what they have to share. So if you want to just take a moment and relax and get comfy, however you like to be, and I'll be connecting in right now. So here we go. And I'm feeling that we are inviting in the light. I feel the love of the divine consciousness flowing around us today. Spirit guides, ascended masters, and they're sharing their beings from interdimensional realities, interdimensional realms, and the essence of peace itself, love, and a frequency of support and joy. And there's a vibration of a collective unity that is here. So your higher self is here, which is the aspect of your soul light that we might say 
is outside the physical body. There's aspect that is in and a lot of energy that resides outside. And she's sharing with me just standing around you for support and protection. And the message is, you've got this. You know this. You're good. You've prepared for this time and space. And when you're in the rocky, chaotic moments, feel within your heart. You can put your hand on your heart and one on your abdomen for stabilization. But she's sharing, just breathe and you'll feel the peace, the oneness and love from within. It is your own light because you are strong and powerful and magnificent and you have an amazing team to help support you. But the choices and decisions and the choice and decision to be here really lies within yourself. So take a moment and just feel into the light of your soul. And as you connect in more, you might feel that the light codes and energy from your soul frequency flows down through your crown chakra, surrounding your physical body and flowing down to your heart and abdomen. And she's saying, remember you are here on earth. And you're here for a dedicated reason and to enjoy the experience to the best of your capabilities. And she's sharing to bring your awareness down to your legs and feet to ground and be here. You don't have to leave your body to make a connection and to receive guidance. But it does help to raise your frequency so that you can become in tune. Just like you're working to tune a radio station. And she's sharing to tune your frequency, you activate with love. You can feel that love come in and around you. I feel so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> oh, it's so nice. So let me begin by introducing formally who all is here, very much so <laughs> the frequencies of love, unity, peace, and your higher self is here. And I work a lot with the archangels, so I just want to take a moment to see if there are some, or maybe if it's send of masters, I never know who's going to step in. So let me see who's here. Okay, we have Zadkiel, Archangel Zadkiel. Ariel, Raguel, and Raziel, <laughs> Jeremy, Ellen, and Dolphin. <laughs> now they're like all like, here we are. <laughs> so all of our angels will have like a frequency and specialties to help with in life. And I also see a vibration that's all together. And this represents your team of spirit guides. There are many frequencies within this orb that I'm seeing but they are coming together as a collective group to st stabilize and support you and they show you like when you're age three and four and they're around you and this orb kind of um, opens and then all of your guides were coming they were walking you know they were in a grouping and they came out and they were standing around you so they've been protecting you and teaching you and working with you since a young at a young age and I see when you were young, three to four, maybe five, um, you're outside or with nature and they're, they're teaching you just what it's like to be here as a human in the body where you don't have to feel disconnected. And they're reminding you that you are an infinite being and this oneness frequency, this connection to oneness is what connects all of life and so that you don't have to feel separate or separated. And so they're reminding you through today's session how to just kind of come back and connect in with your frequency, which then will enhance your awareness to the oneness connection and your guides. Does that make sense? Absolutely. And I can 
I just feel this immense, immense, peaceful. Um, it's almost like a quiet, sleepy, sweet. It's just the energy, but it, it's everywhere. When my eyes were closed, I could feel it um, more strongly, but it, it's a swirling vibration around me right now. It's very soothing. Yeah, thank you for sharing those words. Yeah, you did a great, like, I'm <laughs> like, yes, that's exactly how I was feeling. <laughs> yeah, you described it perfectly. And so I want to thank you because that was your higher self coming in and wow. really bringing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so when I start, I just open to whoever or how it flows. Every session is different. And that was a really incredible gift that you, you just came in straight away. And there's a strong message in that. There are multiple messages. And sometimes there, we well, would call them a message, but you don't put it in words. It's just the vibration. Like what can we feel from that moment? And it's a knowing and we can pick any word we want to put with it. But if I were to say the overwhelming um, aspect that's in my awareness from that is that you are very strong. You're very capable and very powerful in that you can shift the energy in a space and you can bring peace to any moment, any room. It's just a remembering of how to do it or opening up to the experience because that, I mean, was very strong right away. So thank you for sharing with us because I think you've just inspired a lot of our listeners <laughs> to also work with their oversoul and let the light come in. Right before we started, I just journaled a little bit. And what I started with was, oh, I'm opening myself up to receive. And I'm grateful for whatever comes through. And I think it was just having that, having that intention, but nothing else in my mind, which is pretty rare for me, actually, I have a very busy monkey mind, but to just sit and, and feel that it was like a, like a warmth a warm air that just dropped down. It was, it was wonderful. Wow. Oh my gosh. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. It's just always in the physical beautiful. aspect. I, I mean, just feeling it around my physical body, not to mention, you know, inside, but warmth. It's mm. profound. It is profound. And yeah, to that, it's like, does somebody turn the heater on? Cause <laughs> the room just got hot. <laughs> right. Much warmer. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Well, thank you for sharing that. And um, I know I could probably just sit in this blissful feeling forever. So let me, <laughs> let me tune in though. We will, we'll flow. I feel like there's going to be a lot of things happening at the same time here. That vibration is stabilizing. I can still feel your frequency. It's so pure and beautiful. And she'll be you, your light will be supporting the session today in such an enhanced and direct way that I, I it's like a reverent, reverent feeling like I can almost cry and I can barely even get the words out of my mouth. <laughs> I'm like stumbling because I'm just in awe. But thank you. So you'll continue to feel that. And I do have an awareness that messages will be coming through to you. A lot of ahas and a lot of visions and memories not only in our time together, but for the time after, for some hours to days after this connection has been enhanced. So I'm just stepping a little bit more um, into communication with my guides and the angels. And we are supporting this healing space and session with an other perspective and information from source and from angels and your guides. So and also what I can clairvoyantly see. So I'm going to look at your energy field now. Well, and it's very interesting, the messages that um, came through about reminding you that you're here in a human body and to be grounded and, and it's like to be embodied because your solar plexus and your sacral chakra, that whole area of your aura is so bright. It's like you are so present. And I think that um, if I could say anything, it would be maybe to enhance bringing more of your awareness into your root chakra and down your legs to anchor your vibration here because 
girl, you're like so strong and so magical. It's just so, it's like, it's pure love. And that is a gift for earth. And the more that you embody and anchor it in, when we anchor and we touch the earth with our light and it literally comes down through our feet onto the earth, I see it like ripples or shock waves that emanate out and your blessing everywhere around you. Wherever you walk, it's like, like water waves. Wherever you walk, it's light waves that go out all around you. And so the message is that more of this that you bring in, it will protect you and it will bless others. And the reason for protection, I don't know why those words are coming through. It's definitely a message for you, but I can share that the mechanics of it or what it looks like is because your force field will be stronger. So if any vibrations that are uncomfortable or, you know, disenchanting frequencies that are really contrasting, they, you'll notice it like a mile away, basically. You know, it's like you're going to notice it really far out in time and in space or signs. Like if you're in a conversation and you're just like, oh, this conversation feels like it could go south in about 30 seconds, you know, you're going to notice it ahead of time. So you can pivot and navigate and move around it. Or what you do is the light what buffer off of your aura and transmute that. Sometimes when we go into the presence of certain people, we immediately feel peace when we're with them. And some people can just initially start crying because they're like, wow, I didn't realize I was holding on to anger or fear or stress. And just being around you is comforting. And that's when the light can emanate and dissolve these frequencies. So the protection piece comes in that it's buffered that vibration doesn't have to come into your aura at all. If somebody is in fear, you're going to recognize it with your clair gifts. And I'm hearing clair um, sentience, which is a knowing of your heart, but you're just going to know, you're going to know, and then you can maneuver. So if you, if you don't want to get too close where it would influence you and the way that it influences us energetically is when it comes into our aura. So what they're showing is if you pull all of your light into your body, anchor it on earth, you're going to have a larger force field around you. So you'll recognize things way before they happen and you won't have to feel it because you're very um, in tune and sensitive to emotions and vibrations and to have to carry the weight of somebody else isn't really fun and we don't want to have to sit and clear ourselves. So you, you know, you buffer that out before it even happens. Um, there's a strong light around you of green. You have a lot of green energy around you, just running, <laughs> coursing up and down through your aura, which is a very healing vibration. And your guides are like saying, you can allow yourself to receive because you have a healing frequency that you share with others. <laughs> it's time for you to heal, to feel it for yourself. It's like it's there, but there was a, um, decision like a guard up, but it's more like a decision that you were bracing or not allowing you were regulating that frequency, keeping it out and off of you, uh, for whatever reason. And okay. The words are, um, there were some mistruths that were spoken and a distrust that brought about, um, and I'm also hearing empathy. So you're feeling so you're empathic and you're feeling the energy around it, but it brought about a mixture of emotions. They're showing me like a stew that's just spinning in the pot and mixing them all up together. So some of these were yours or childhood emotions, and some of them aren't yours, but there's a pretty significant emotion of fear in there. And there was this vibration of you know, like if you allow yourself to feel and to heal, what could that bring up? And there's an, also an aspect of, are you um, worthy enough to have that experience? And they're, they're basically saying, well, yes. And to allow yourself to feel the healing light that you share with others. So how are you feeling now? And is this resonating? Do you have any 
further questions or anything at all you want to share? I don't have any questions. Um, I am crying. <laughs> so um, <laughs> it is all, it's all deeply resonating. Um, I definitely find myself in a pattern of, um, of overgiving and overhelping and wanting, uh, wanting to help other people heal, but through, you know, finding, basically learning about energy healing or finding out about it and understanding its validity and how well it works and experiencing just a small bit of healing before I run and, and try and give it to somebody huh. else because I want someone else, you know, there, it's not conscious for sure, but there's something that, that does push me towards no, you know, help somebody else first. And then mm -hmm. there, there'll be time for you later. Okay. Kind of yeah. I have a message for you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> wow. Okay. Your, your higher soul, like your soul is, is here and she's right here column of light on the left side of my body and your guides are right here and um, they're both bringing different aspects perspectives for you but the awareness is you came here to serve and to heal your energy is really advanced in the sense that you could say you're bigger than earth in that the earth life experience it's like you are so advanced in all of your experiences and you're embodying it all in this moment. So from a deep inner soul place, you are functioning from this goal or this intention. It's more like an intention. It's who you are, who you've designed yourself to be or encouraged yourself to be in this life is to serve and heal others. It's so strong. I can feel it. Okay, now your guides are saying, but you also can have some of that for yourself and me, this is Amy, <laughs> and the archangels are saying, um, as a healer, you learn so much through your own healing of yourself. So then you can be there for those that you're helping because you understand, like you, you can share a little bit or you can allow them the space to cry because you know what it was like to be there. And it's actually very healing and to let somebody cry is very respectful and you hold space. So if you've never had those breakdowns yourself or that integration of this cathartic cry, you might try and, you know, and, and uh, interact in a different way, let's say. So there's a lot of wisdom there's a lot of healing in every moment when you're healing yourself and others, you're, you're holding space and bringing in messages. So the message here is to share with you, yes, everything you're feeling and how you describe um, it happens where you want to help others. This is the reason why. Also to that, remember that it's okay and it is actually kind of beneficial to others when you do have your own healing for the wisdom, the education of it. And of course, you know, you want to be in a clear space and healthy, but your energy actually looks really good. So I can totally see. <laughs> I mean, I've been, I've been in the thick of like healing and working on myself for several years, but I feel like it's just been that, that really tough stuff. Like mm -hmm. the, like the, the there's the low parts and then the high parts but i feel like there's something in in, in me that's just like no more low parts mm -hmm. no we no more low parts like like dig deeper dig deeper there's got to be you know more more pain to unearth instead of settling into that like that first that feeling of bliss and love like no i got to keep digging i can't have that yet okay like, okay can't have that love yet. Can't have that bliss yet. Gotta, gotta keep digging. Gotta keep cleaning. Okay. Thank you for sharing that. Um, the message I'm getting is like an integrative balance where you can have both. And they're saying the deeper you go into like the cleaning, wouldn't it be nice if you could also access the light to help clean it? So 
if you're in the thick of it, if you're in the depths of it, and you're in these dark night of the soul moments, how do you get out of it and how do you work with it, you know? So accessing the light and enhancing your connection to the light and your team and your soul will help you. So honor the highs just as much as you honor the lows because they both have wisdom and they both share healing and they both have a depth to them and a different experience but they are like two sides of a coin yin and yang there it's like working together and as you go really deep on one and then really high on the other frequency you can start to balance it together so that it becomes a blend and it becomes your resonating frequency where, where you live every day so that that way when something comes up you're like okay i sense it i feel it but i have enough wisdom and experience and the light is here to help me um, regulate the time that i want to feel this today and also how much energy of each aspect are you going to bring into the present moment so you're actually doing some advanced work because until we've had experiences, sometimes we can find ourselves lost, if we call it, or just human time, days and weeks and months in a particular frequency, like maybe the lows. And then we go for two or three months in the highs and we swing, you know, really deep with each. So if we can just learn to regulate this and balance it, you can be flowing through each vibration each week or each day so you get it down to recognizing what's happening or what you're feeling I'm, and it's funny because I'm hearing injustice and then I'm hearing truth so the, all the different aspects of whatever it is you might be going through but so you can you know you can work with that piece of it in an hour rather than a month so everything you've experienced in your whole path so far like what you know like opening up to energy work and studying all of it has been profoundly important and it feels like there's just this other viewpoint they want to share with you and how to balance it and bring it all together but also just to rec like they not just because it's huge but they want you to recognize that you've done a lot of work and it's okay now to feel the highs you don't have to um separate from all of the experiences that's the message that came through at the beginning was um you can be grounded you can be grounded in this life and still connected so sometimes we feel like we have to be one or the other but you can be fully embodied and then instead of going up and out to the higher realms you just expand your aura a little bit and lift your frequency you tune it but you're in the body and this is how we start to blend heaven and earth so you can you can actually alchemize and heal quite a bit more efficiently when you become accepting of all the healing light that's there for you so i hope that makes sense i'm trying my best <laughs> to translate it, the messages no, it makes it makes perfect sense and i've I've recognized within myself that I have a little or a lot of bit of resistance to my humanness. Like mm -hmm. I've, you know, I have the, <clears throat> the typical star seed symptoms, you know, like I was always out of place. I was always misunderstood. I never, mm -hmm. I, I never realized um, that there wasn't something wrong with me until, until very recently, you know, the last 10 years and resisting the humanness I definitely need to work on <laughs> well yeah um thanks for sharing that because that's a huge topic I think many of us go through at whatever level like whatever depth or amount of time but I think a lot of us can really resonate with those feelings and it makes a lot of sense too you know because when they were saying you're more advanced, like your energy is so experienced that it did feel like you came here for a mission and you can feel like a visitor at times. But to that, I would say, I, I just because I went through that and I would say what I've recognized or the perspective, one angle that I've started to take, which has really helped me is I'm meeting more and more star beings 
And I'm reading more and more light workers, and I'm feeling like, wow, there's a lot of us here. So we're here to help shift and change it, right? So while it's uncomfortable and there's sometimes a disconnect and a contrast, it, it, I feel like we're at the stage where we're starting to recognize that, hey, we can actually shift this and then it can be more comfortable. So I think that's part of the integration and the embodiment. And just over the past decade, like you mentioned, I think that was a, like 2011, 2012, big times on earth. And I've seen a lot of shift in the frequency. And I think that it's allowed many of us to open up our, our energy just to relax a little bit more and to feel comfortable. So I would just encourage you, like this is me coming from Amy, to look and allow yourself just a little bit more freedom to feel safe and joyful here. Nothing where you feel uncomfortable, but just give yourself the idea because I kind of feel like earth life is changing. Even though there's a lot of chaos, you know, chaos is movement and movement is change. So when you put your force field out, you can just maneuver so you don't get hit with <laughs> some of those vibrations, but you're still sharing a space of, I'm actually hearing a grounded reality because we don't have to be in the clouds and think we have to leave this existence to be happy and feel love. We can bring that heavenly frequency here to earth. And so that's a strong message that they're sharing with you in any and every way that you can, because I mean, full disclosure, everybody, you mentioned paints behind in another room, but they are showing you painting. So I don't know if it's artistic paints that you had or like you're painting your wall, but I'm seeing artistic paints. That's a form of channeling codes in. That's a form of pulling frequency into a physical experience. <laughs> It's very, very important to let you know. Um. I actually, <laughs> sorry. No, it's, this is perfect. It's, there's messages coming through. I can see and feel you're receiving. <laughs> I Take was... your time. I have been, um, Um, yeah, I'm a painter. Um, I'm, I'm an artist. I'm a, I make jewelry, um, mm -hmm. and I paint and I have been receiving for the last couple of weeks. I haven't painted in like, I haven't painted in over a month just because I've been busy, but, um, I like probably three times in the last month during meditations, I have seen these, just these designs and I can't really describe them other than if you've looked at the sun really intensely and then closed your eyes and then you see a bunch of designs, do you know what mm, I'm talking about? The codes, so, yeah. Yeah, so it's like that, but I see these designs and they fall during meditation and I keep getting the message that I'm like, that this is, even though it just looks like shapes and designs, it's somehow information and I'm supposed to be painting these, but then my ego's like, that's, it, it's just shapes, it's just designs, you know, you're, because I normally paint flowers and botanical type stuff, you know, mm. I, I, I have a very, <laughs> very specific style of art, but what I've been seeing is so different and I've been blowing it off, but everything that you just said absolutely lines up with it. So, <laughs> wow. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. Let it channel through. No, there, there is a significance to it. And I understand, I completely understand the different perspectives of like the human side and the starseed side and like the broader spiritual side, the collective, like everything. So sometimes I'm like thinking about things and, you know, at the least you could say it's going to be a beautiful painting, you know, like if people don't understand there's, if they consciously don't have the words to say, oh, there's light codes in this, they're going to feel it at some point when they're ready to open to it. But then those that really recognize it, whoa, I'm getting, you can create a huge awakening for, for them. You know, they're going to resonate and the frequencies, the geometrical shapes, the designs are like keys that unlock a deeper knowing. 
like unlock aspects of the star seed to they're just, it's it's coded it's going to help them awaken and enhance so not only that for many who would say well i'm already feel away it's as a comfort there's actually a vibration in it that reminds us of home and that's what i was getting when you were talking about the sun it's very comforting and awakening and activating so i i girl <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I would love for you to do this, like paint and channel it through, because I would love to see your pieces. I mean, well, I don't have a choice now. <laughs> <laughs> right. I, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna keep denying spirit like that. Um, yeah. I have learned a. I've learned a few lessons the hard way that way. I'm not gonna do it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's so wonderful. Well, when you have it all ready to go, let us know. We'll put your link in the show notes. So. People okay. can find you. Yeah, because I'm just as interested and intrigued as I think our listeners will be as well. So I'm looking forward to seeing how it will how it will come through because it never it's never what I see, you know, in my mind's eye, how mm -hmm. how it shows up on um on the oh I paint on wood, so how it shows up on the canvas. But um I I guess I feel a permission. Um, not that I, of course, not that I needed permission, but there was the, you know, the critical voice element mm -hmm. to me that has now, you know, been released. Like the, <laughs> the bully that nobody else knew that I had, you got mm -hmm. rid of just now. So, oh, wow. I'm getting chills. That is a beautiful way of saying, oh my gosh, I've never even heard that way of it before. Yeah. Sometimes I, we are I the really hardest. Felt that, like I'm, I'm even like. I, I can feel myself pulling away from, from that direct, but like, there was something on the, I'm motioning to the right side of my head, mm -hmm. like a bully that I was hearing that nobody else knew was there. And, you know, you, you witnessed and, and set yeah, aside and not even in a, like, not even a negative vanish way. Like I felt the, I felt the transmutation of this is just the wrong perspective and gone. That's a beautiful way of describing it. Transmutation of a perspective that wasn't supportive of you or your path, you know, like what you have to offer. And again, your, your soul, you, she, she's coming in, you know, we're really not one gender or the other, but it's appearing to be very strong feminine energy. And she's coming in again. And she's just like, yeah, this is going to get you it's what you need for the next step of enhancing your connection by trusting and flowing and seeing where it leads. And um, when you mentioned how, how interested you would be for it to come through and what will it look like, that's an important um, topic to bring up or aspect because when you channel in, it might look completely different, but the frequency is there because it's coming through you. So you might see those codes come through. Well, you you saw the codes. And that's what's going to come through you. And it will be interesting to see what comes out on the painting for sure. So and, and how it wants to manifest. Because what I'm getting for you is the way that it comes out is how it's supposed to be for the receiver. Whoever purchases or adopts. I love the word adopt. Whoever acquires these pieces or stands in front of them and looks at them. It's what they need. So the light codes are helping you. And the way that it comes out on the canvas is how the person that receives your work, it's there for them. And it'll be perfect. This is really, really validating. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't, I have never done any, um, <laughs> I've never done any reproductions of any of my pieces. I only do one of a kind items mm. because and I do use the word adopt I believe that what I am making and what I, what's channeling through me is meant for somebody and somebody is supposed to receive it someone is going to connect with that particular piece and it's not it's not meant to be handed out to you know 10 or 15 different people it's just the it's to be adopted by the one person that it's meant yeah. for and nobody else has to get it yeah but wow yeah I'm getting <laughs> chills oh I'm feeling so much. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. There's a strong 
strong message, I think, for many of us here because it's, it's sitting very, it's just here. Let's just, I'm going to feel it for a moment. This is a, this is a strong message. Thank you for sharing with everyone because I think we all can receive it. Um, there's a unique, there's a, there's a special essence of being unique and not having to conform and knowing it's not one size fits all and whatever gifts we have to share, they will meet those who are ready and designed or like they they were designed for or meant for. So, wow. Thank you so much. <laughs> I, I also feel like a, a release from this. I, it maybe was a quasi conscious belief, but that, And this is probably just programming, but that I should be doing something that because I like doing what I'm doing, it's not enough. Mm, that's that, a bit hard. That, yeah. <laughs> that, I, that I have to be, you know, that I have to be suffering because I love to paint and I love to, I love to offer, offer healing however I can, love however I can, that because I love doing that, that yeah, it should be hard. I should be suffering somehow. Okay. But the- yeah. it, it's an old consciousness and um, it coincides with the message that we're here. We're creating the new earth. We're creating the new way of it. And by you stepping into that and healing, you're, you'll be healing the that quasi consciousness. You're going to be healing it so where you feel it's okay and you kind of let it know it's okay this is a new way of it and by you actually doing this work you're going to give others permission to do the same so oh i i hereby give everyone else permission to not <laughs> suffer anymore <laughs> yeah you can, you can do what you like and you can love it <laughs> yeah love it let's rearrange like how everything's been structured what does it mean to survive it's not just struggling to take care of our physical body. We're here actually to bring in more of our gifts and they extend beyond this lifetime and beyond this body. So survival, that whole thing, that whole everything about that is going to be shifting because sharing your truth and sharing your beauty, being in alignment, the way that it will work is communities people will find you and you'll be supporting these communities of light beings that are here that say, I need that piece of, of artwork in my home. It's actually grounding my home or it's holding a frequency for this entire room and this entire house even. So continue with that is the message I'm getting. I think I don't even have to say, I don't even have to say that. I think you've quite, quite received. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> wow. So incredible. Well, let me do a little look at your auric field here. See if there's any, I mean, it's so funny. I just love how spirit leads. Cause I'm like, we're going to flow into some energy healing session work. And yeah, this was energetically healing in a very different kind of, you know, a reading kind of way. It, and, and that's one thing I've noticed with star beings is once they get the message, um, it just shifts like once. And if I say, oh, this is out of alignment, it'd be like, yeah, for two more seconds, because then you <laughs> recognize it, your your consciousness heard it and fixes it. So um, let's just see if there's any fine tuning love that we can help with today. <laughs> so here we go. There's a frequency that's kind of like... Um, it's a part of your force field around your aura all along your back. It looks like panels of like a starship or something. It just looks like it's got light codes and communication, like a communication panel. And I see that lighting up and enhancing. And then I saw the energy coming around your throat chakra sitting out in front of you. So it looks to me like you're going to be using your voice a bit more, which is to speak your truth with clarity. Um, so to do that, we really do want to feel, or we have to, it just happens that we feel more online and present. So also that's a aspect of it is you'll be feeling more 
in the alignment and clear of your mission and where you're going and your direction. I'm literally seeing you in this like capsule that's your aura, but it's like a, it's like a little spaceship, <laughs> a little pod of light that's beaming through the sky and you can go really quick wherever you want to go. And I think there's a message to that as well. They also show you slowing down, like putting on the brakes a little bit, slowing down and getting off and experiencing a reality or a moment. So they're saying while you're here, just take it like you're on vacation. Um, some places that we visit, we're like, yeah, I could live here. This is great. And others you are like, oh gosh, I'm glad I came to visit because that is all that it will be <laughs> is a visit. <laughs> so, so just take in all that you can while you're here. And then if you want to come back, you will. And if you don't, you won't. So enjoy the moment for what it is, is the message that they're sharing. And they're saying, but the thing of it is while you're there, you can create beauty, you can create magic, you can create joy. You can share your light with all of those that are there in that space, whether they be human or not whether it be animals or the trees or whether it be anything in a physical form, even if it's a space that's only energy, we give gratitude and we're thankful and we come with it with like respect for that interaction and then you leave blessing and then you, you leave. So, um, or you stay, whatever it might be. But there's a deep message here and how I see your energy field is very strong and very supportive of you. Your chakras look amazing. I will say it looks like you're going through an activation um, and the flow of energy is at the heart that goes up to the high heart chakra and a little at your throat and then out your arms. So, well, you'll be painting with your arms and hands. So there you go. It looks to me like you'll be channeling energy in through your heart um, into the work that you do. So not only will there be the codes visually, the energy that people can feel from walking into the energy field of your art pieces, but also clear tangency. If they touch the art piece, they can get a download and an activation. So yeah, when, when, like if you mail it to somebody, the second they receive it and hold it, they're going to get an activation. That's so amazing. yeah. So exciting. <laughs> I'm so excited for you. And what they were showing is, um, an enhancement to your system so you're going to feel like you're more online what's interesting is a lot of it just needed your permission you use that word i think um yeah. you just like by processing and integrating in a quick manner right it's not even been an hour <laughs> 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 but your system has shifted and now what you need to do this job if you want to call it yeah but you need yeah. to get the job done has just now upgraded within yourself. So your energy field looks amazing. You already have the tools within you. You know, I'm hearing like, get to it. <laughs> I feel good. I feel really, really good. I feel light. I feel tired. Yeah. <laughs> but well, I you, feel really light. <laughs> you processed a lot. Um, you did. I could feel it. So if you feel tired, take a little nap, let your system settle but yeah I keep hearing you're ready like over and over I don't want to sound pushy it's not coming from Amy <laughs> I, I don't hearing. I don't feel pushed I feel I feel encouraged okay because yeah. it's not stopping <laughs> yeah I feel I feel encouraged and um not not confused but c confused is not the wrong word but like whatever energy is the me really yeah really me so i be amusement be amused be mm -hmm. bewilderment i guess mm -hmm. beautiful Just very excited and feeling very grateful oh, well i am so happy for you and i'm so grateful that we got to meet today because this is so like i'm it's just hitting me it's so amusing in a very like, I'm just heartfelt about this when I say I'm so happy for you to be able to get the information so you can shift.
but it's not lost on me that this podcast will help others, but then also your art's going to help others and how like in alignment it is for that feeling of your soul when you're like, I'm here to do something and help. <laughs> like I'm here to assist and look at how this really unique creative way you you have the opportunity through your experience to touch the lives of many. So I want to thank you for for volunteering. <laughs> well, well, I know that what like the the principle of healing arts is when a healing is given, a healing is received. And when everyone or you know in my in my eye when everyone is is able to do that, then it's just this you know, amalgamation of amazing. <laughs> Yes. Um, I'm very happy to be a part of it. And I'm very thankful to you, Amy, for what you do. Oh, thank you. You are so welcome. And thank you so much. I can see everything, like all the light that you're sharing here now and in the future. So <laughs> amazing. So I want to thank everybody for tuning in today and for sharing lots of love and many blessings. And we want to thank you for being here. And we'll see you all again on the next episode of the Spirit and Soul Healing Podcast. Mm -hmm.